The governor of Ebony State, Dave Umahi, has said he and other Southeast governors will begin to examine the clamor for 2023 presidency coming to the Southeast by May 2022 when their tenure remains one year. Umahi, who spoke to state house journalist after meeting with President Buhari at the presidential villa, Abuja, condemned the sit at home order declared by the indigenous people of Biafra. He said those observing the IPOF sit at home directive, even when the secessionist group had cancelled it, were doing so out of panic. While speaking on presidency in 2023, he said, Well, for me, I am very much entrenched in completing my projects, and I will look into politics when my tenure is remaining one year, which is from May 29, 2022. And I think it is the same thing with other governors of Southeast and by extension, governors of APC. My position about what you ask is that our people that are in those political parties are making the efforts in selling the need for Southeast to produce the next president. But I think both the governors and Mr. President should not be distracted when the elections are done and won, it should be governance. But in this country, the moment the election is completed, the next one starts. It is the masses that are being cheated. So, those whose job are politics and who are not into elected positions or appointed positions, have all the time and the opportunity to do this conversing. But I continue to say that power rests in the hands of God, and God will also give us the next president who has good heart, like President Buhari, for the good of this country. We need God's own anointing for our own anointed president for the interest and unity of this country. Fielding question on the position of the regional security network, Ibube Agu, he said, talking about Ibube Agu position, it's quite formidable and doing a great job in synergy with all the security agencies. And if you read through the newspapers, you see a lot of exploits that have been done in the southeast. It's quite taxing, security-wise, and we are tackling it. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this that has been said? We have had, according to the news, the governor of Ebony State, Dave Omahi, has said he and other southeast governors will begin to examine the clamor for 2023 presidency coming to the southeast by May 2022, when their tenure remains just one year. Umahi, who spoke to State House journalists after meeting with President Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja, condemned the sit at home order declared by the indigenous people of Biafra. You know, it has been said for a very long time that the next president of Nigeria should be of Igbo extraction. What do you think about the spring situation? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section. As we can see, the Southeast governors will start to consider 2023 presidency by next year, according to what Governor Umahi have said. We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on the spring development. Like to share your own reaction with us on this, but before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning what Governor Umahi have said. Moses Joshua Eze reacted to this and said, 
the blood of innocent people in your state is crying presently. Wait for the anger of God. Umahi is a wicked governor. What is your thought about this? We have heard what Moses have said that Umahi is a wicked governor and the blood of the innocent people in his state are crying. Engineer Emeka also reacted and said, The way this man is going, he might end up in prison or go with shame. I thought they said, You must finish the one you are chewing before putting another one. But in his own case, you want to be the president of Nigeria. Immediately, you finish as a governor. How possible is it? Even the northern part of Nigeria have never dreamed about this. They've never dreamed this way. What is your thought about this that engineer Emeka have said? What is your own reaction to this? According to Emeka, he said that the way this man is going now, he may probably end up in prison or go with shame. Because it is said that you finish the one in your mouth before thinking of going for another one. So, to him, now I want to become the next president of Nigeria immediately after finishing as a governor. What is your thought about this? How possible is it? Even the northern part of Nigeria has never dreamed this way. What is your thought about this? Tony Ike have also reacted to this present situation and said, But you have thought about what will happen in case your plan fails? No. What is your thought about what Tony has said? That should in case the plan fail, have you ever thought of what is going to befall you? Your Fulani benefactors will surely come against you for daring to challenge them. Do you have the numerical strength? The answer is no. More so, when the majority of the people is not with you like IPOP. Begin now to talk in favor of referendum for Biafra freedom or keep quiet and stop working against Biafra. That is what Tony has said. What is your reaction to this that Tony has said? What is your own point of view concerning this that Tony has said? According to him, he said, But have you ever thought of what is going to be the repercussion if the case or probably the plan fails? Should in case the plan fails, have you ever thought about the consequences? Your Fulani benefactors will surely come against you for daring to challenge them. And when we check the numerical strength, the answer is no, you don't have it. So, how do you think you can continue to disgrace IPOP? The best thing for you to do now, according to Tony, he said, begin to talk in favor of referendum for Biafra freedom, or you keep quiet and stop working against Biafra. What is your thought about this? Jude Ego also reacted and said, referendum is the only way out, and Nigeria to save lives. What is your thought about this? We have had different reactions from people concerning the present situation of things. We also like you to drop your own point of view with us on this main development. Don't forget that Governor Omar here has said the Southeast governors will start to consider 2023 presidency by next year. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.